as time passes and you're making an istikhara, one of two things is going to happen. Either things are going to become easy or things are going to become difficult. If things become easy, that's the response of your istikhara positively. If things are going to become difficult, it's the response of your istikhara negatively. Remember, when you make a dua of istikhara, we all have a misunderstanding that you're going to dream something. 99% of the time, you don't dream anything. Remember that. So it's not like, you know, revelation is going to come through your dream and you see that, that that's it. No, you did not read the meaning of the dua. That's why you don't even know what you asked Allah for. The dua says, oh Allah, if this is good for me, make it easy for me. Give me barakah in it and let it happen for me. So you get up in the morning and everything is not happening. Why? Because the other part of the dua that you made in the dua of istikhara is, Oh Allah, if it's not good for me, create a barrier between me and it. Take it away from me, make it difficult and make me happy with what you've decreed. So everything becomes very, very difficult. That's the response of your istikhara. It's in the dua. So go back and read the dua and you'll understand. People say, you know, it's becoming so difficult, but I've dreamt and I've had so many dreams. My sister, my brother, a lot of the people have already slept with each other before they're doing istikhara. Do you not think your istikhara is going to be tainted with whatever has happened? I mean, you're crazy watching her, talking to her or him every single day, thinking that that's not going to have an impact about your dreams and everything, your thoughts and whatnot. You need to know what's the meaning of istikhara. And if you've already made your mind up, don't waste your time making an istikhara. Because then you're not going to follow it. And another very interesting point is istikhara, you know, for those of you who might not know what it is, it's to seek the guidance of Allah regarding a matter that you are confused about. So if you're not confused about it, it's inapplicable. You don't have to do it. I'm not confused. Things are one plus one is two. I don't need to do an istikhara for that because it is two. You see, but where I'm confused, you're saying, oh Allah, I don't know. You know, please guide me, help me. By that time, have you or have you not donated your heart? If you have, I don't see how it's applicable. You see, if you haven't, it becomes applicable. Then you, if, if it's a no, you're going to back off. The problem is a lot of us, <laughs> we put the, the cart before the donkey and what do we do? We try and do an istikhara when everything is already over. It's all decided and...